This is Scott with TutorialStop.com. Let's take another look at the clone stamp tool. Here you can see I have a picture of this little baby. I actually downloaded this picture at morguefile.com, M-O-R-G-U-E-F-I-L-E.com. Great place to get some stock photos. And uh, all I typed in was human face, and this came up. Let's take a look, a closer look at the blemish on this baby's nose. I'm going to get my zoom tool over here. I'm going to drag a little box around his nose and you can see there's like a little pimple here on his nose that we're going to clean up using the clone stamp tool. So I'm going to go get the clone stamp tool and you can see the brush size is simply huge right now so I'm going to use my left bracket key to make that smaller and that's pretty good. So you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the general area I'm going to hold down my alt key and click to sample that. I'm going to come and click and click hold down my alt key again and click sample and then I'm going to I let go of my alt key and I'm going to click and click and I'm going to hold down my alt key in this area and click to sample let go of your alt key and click click hold down your alt key right here and click and let go of your alt key and now click 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 we're almost done hold down your alt key right here and click almost there we're going to take care of that pimple and remove it. So that's looking pretty good. Now if I view this, you can see that pimple is gone. If we took a little bit more time, we could really clean that spot up and make it look like everything else there. What I might want to do is go back and get that. Maybe go a little bit bigger. You can see right in here it starts to fog out a little bit, but when I cloned it, um, didn't quite look like it's supposed to so I'm gonna alt click right in this area oh that's much better now when I double click that pimple is gone it is gone from that baby and we fixed up that photo in fact we could even come into this region where he has this little scratch on his arm if we wanted to we could remove that as well so again that's another use for the clone stamp tool is cleaning up blemishes and very simple to do alt click and pay attention to the little cross and the more times you sample it's probably better now a, a couple tips I noticed when I out opened the clone stamp tool I kinda had a softer brush a softer brush are these fuzzy type brushes it's called a soft brush if you click on it I'll activate it and you can see there's a soft brush your right and left bracket keys make that larger now I want you to pay attention right up here as I hold down my shift key as I make this larger using my left and right bracket keys. The brush size, the 150, is actually not changing at all, but you can see it's getting harder as I hold down shift and right bracket key. Each time I click the right bracket key while holding down shift, I get a harder brush. And each time I hold down my shift key and hit the left bracket key, I get a softer brush, which will make it a little bit, um, it'll blend it out a little bit more. So. Those are some good tips using the left and right bracket keys to actually make the brush size bigger or smaller and shift bracket key to make the brush harder or softer. And when I say brush, that can also be used with your clone stamp tool or healing brush tool, eraser tool, or brush tools. So again, this is Scott with TutorialStop.com. Mosey on over to our website for some additional information and tutorials.